Hi, my name is Leon Scammelhorn, CEO of Interspace Systems Corporation. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to replace an oxygen sensor. Oxygen sensors are used to measure the partial pressure inside the breathing loop and they're critical. ISC recommends that you use the Teledyne R22D oxygen sensor. It typically has the millivolt value between 8 millivolts to 13.5. That's an ambient air at sea level. We also recommend that you replace them about once a year. Typically they're good for about 18 months in their package. I've determined that one of my sensors needs to be replaced. In this case, sensor number three on the outside here. And I can see the sensor serial number. And I can also see the date code, which in this case it says E8. And you don't wait until they start dying on you. One year is typical, it gives you a lot of conservatism as far as they're not getting millivolt limited and it gives you some assurance that you're not giving yourself more oxygen than necessary to maintain your proper set point. So this sensor needs to be replaced. I have another sensor that's over here, a new one, and it's an E9. When you get your oxygen sensors, they come in a little hermetically sealed plastic bag. And what I like to do is if I'm going to travel somewhere, I'll just cut the top off and I'll put a piece of tape over it. I go on a dive destination, I'll take that tape off and that already gets the sensor acclimatized to the atmospheric pressure. So that way it's already ready to go into the rebreather. It's better to do that than just rip open the bag and then install this fresh cell into your, into your rebreather. The Meg would operate it with just fine if you did that, but it's always best to go ahead and pre-treat the sensor on a dive trip. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and replace this sensor with this sensor here. I usually like to use a uh, multi-tool like a Leatherman. You can replace the MEG sensors without a multi-tool if you got small enough fingers and if you're careful uh, that you don't pull the wires. But in this case, I'm going to go into sensor 3. I'm going to re remove the dust cap and there's the Molex connector with the two wires on it. You don't want to pull these wires and damage them in any way. If you do, then you'll have intermittent reliability of the connector and the sensor. So what we're going to do is we'll just take the multi-tool and I'll just gently remove the connector. Once the connector is removed, I'll go ahead, remove the sensor. It unscrews. Put the sensor off to the side. I take the new sensor. I check the contacts on the inside. They're clean and screw the sensor back into place. The sensor's been labeled number three. All right. Install my Molex connector. Now put the dust cap back in place. It's good to go. You'll make a note of that in your pre or post dive check sheet and you'll discard the old sensor. That's how you replace an oxygen sensor in the Megalodon CCR. If you have any questions, contact ISC. Thank you.